This video is brought to you by Black Dragon Miniatures. Go check out their website today at blackdragonminiatures.com for all your wargaming and hobby needs. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. There is no middle ground. You're in the great game now. And the great game is terrifying. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, and welcome to another Game of Thrones the Card Game here on Bleep Top Productions. I'm your producer Lee, and today we have game number seven on this channel. And today we have our first attempts at building a Baratheon deck and a Night's Watch deck. Yes, I will be running a Baratheon deck, and my good friend Rich is taking a stab at the Night Watch. And unfortunately we don't have the deck lists because these decks no longer exist. Well, mine does. I've just tweaked it too much that I can't actually remember what I originally had in it. And Rich has moved on from this Night's Watch deck and actually has built another deck which is way more scarier than this one. So, without further ado, I'm going to be quiet and we're going to get straight into Game 7. So, who will come out on top? Will it be Baratheon or the Night's Watch? Let's find out. <laughs> You got me three? Yeah. All right, cool. So I'm uh, starting with three locations, which is the Isles of Ravens, uh, the Dragonstone Port, and also the Iron Throne. So the Isles of Ravens, action. Um, I can choose any card, um, uh, choose a card in any player's discard part and shuffle it into that owner's deck. Um, and then obviously the Dragonstone Port is the reducer for Baratheon, and then the Iron Throne, which is strength 8 for your total dominance. And then my only character, which is Melisandre 1. She needs to die. She does need to die. She needs to die. She's a Lord Raylu, um, or Raylor, um, Rahul, um, uh, character. Red. She's just red. <laughs> and um, uh, reaction, after you marshal or play a re Rulu or rule uh, card, choose and kneel a character limited once per round. That's me. You, sir. So I've gone four. Mm -hmm. The Underground Vault. Nice. Uh, marshalling action. Kneel Underground Vault to gain one gold. Two gold if the gold value on your opponent's plot card, uh, if your opponent's revealed plot card is five or high. Cool. I've then gone for Holdor. Yeah. That dude. That guy. Uh, action. Kneel a uh, Nightwatch location or attachment to choose a character to choose a Nightwatch character until the end of that phase gains one strength. Yep, pretty good. And then Gwen, Gwen, okay. Gwen, Gwen, good old Gwen, 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 Gwen. Well, <laughs> all the Gwens. All the Gwens. Uh, reaction. After you win a challenge in which Gwen is attacking with one power from the losing opponent faction faction card to another attacking Nightwatch character. Up to two power instead, if that character is standing. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Interesting. That's yeah, cool. sure. That's a cool, interesting that's, reaction. That's a thing. It's so. pretty rude. Okay, let's uh, draw back up to seven then. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool beans. And I believe it is time for Plots, mate. Okay. Right. Okay, what are you going with, sir? I've gone for building orders. I have gone with time of plenty. So, building orders. Uh, what does that do, Rich? Uh, when revealed, search the top ten cards of your deck for an attachment or location, reveal it, and then add it to your hand. Cool beans. Time of plenty is increase the number of cards each player draws in the draw phase by one. So I'll let Rich look for his lovely uh, location. Here we go. That one. Oh shit, the oh that tower. one. Oh the shadow tower. So that's going added to your hand, yeah? Yeah. And then you shuffle your deck. Shit. That's a good location to start with. It was the only one. Mm. Well your building orders weren't that great, <laughs> I guess. 
four gold. Yes, you have four gold. I have six. And then we draw three cards. Uh, I have one uh, for my initiative. What do you have? Uh, one. Okay, so I believe then, sir, we flick a coin. Heads or tails? Tails, no fails. Heads. Uh, I would love uh, to go first. Okay. So I'm going to draw three. One, two, three. Okay. Well, first things first, I'm going to play another Dragonstone port. The reducer. So that's my limited location this turn. Uh, pay one to play some Dragonstone Faithful. They're basically the reducers for the uh, Baratheons. More, more reducers. More reducers. So I've more got three reducers. reducers on the board. It's pretty good. Then we will tap both Dragonstone ports and the Faithful to play the Shashari Priestess. So reaction after you marshal her. Choose a Neil the character with strength two or lower, so I'll stat and blue him. Yep. And then the other reaction is, um, yeah. It's dumb. Melisandre nets Neil Gren because she also, because obviously the priest is dumb. a thing. Yeah. Man, that, that worked out really well. Fancy that. And then uh, for two, we will play a, um, what should we call it? A Storm, Stormlands uh, Thiefdom. Which is, it's got an action, plus one gold, but also action to uh, kneel this to move one power from a character or location to its own as faction card. And what we will do is, for one more, uh, actually two more, we will then play a Storm's End, which is reaction after you win dominance, discard one power from your faction card to choose two characters, each of those characters gain one power, and then another reducer because I'm going to play some Dragon Stones. Faithful, and I will pass the turn to you, sir. Okay then. Well, have fun. Yeah. So, marshalling action. Then. Yes. Uh, Neil the Underground Vault gain one gold, two gold. Uh, if the gold value on the opponent's reveal plot card is five or higher. It is. It's six. So gain those two gold, sir. Whoop 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 indeed. I guess then I need to. So the Rose Road? Yep, play the Rose Road. And let's... <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. You might not pick that up on the camera, but that was so, pretty hilarious. Somebody's crying. Someone's crying or screaming. Going to pass my door. Um, one for uh, the Shadow Tower. Yes. So what does the Shadow Tower do again, Rich? Shadow. So, uh, after you win a challenge as the defending player, Kneel the Shadow Tower to choose a character controlled by the losing opponent. Mm -hmm. That character cannot be declared as the attacker this phase. Nice. Remember, because of the Kings of Summer, uh, increase the reserve uh, value on your plot for Vaughan. Oh, I was supposed to have one or more gold. Increase the gold value if it's a Summer plot card, so I was supposed to have seven. So I should have had an additional gold because of my Kings of Summer. But yeah. your, your value is eight Yeah. for your hand size. Just giving you a heads up, yeah. unless you've got like 27 cards in hand. Two. For uh, Saturn. Yeah, uh, reaction. Yeah. After Saturn is knelt, choose and stand another steward character. Yeah. Limited twice per phase. Cool, cool. Uh, that's for two. Yeah. One for Messenger Raven. Yeah. Uh, dominance action, return Messenger Raven to your hand to draw one card. Yep. Yeah. It seems rude. <laughs> But I will do uh, Craven. Oh shit! Sandra. So Melisandre cannot be declared as an attacker. Can defend as a can defend, uh, a defend, but can't, but can't, as, an can't as an attacker. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. And then, well, that's me. Oh no, one. Because uh, limited. Yeah, it's not limited, so it's fine. Um, the Isle of Ravens. Cool, cool. Isle of Ravens is pretty much what I have as well, which is. Yeah, Neil Isle of Ravens to choose a card in any player's discard pile and shuffle it into their owner's deck. Yeah. I will do an entry challenge of three with the Ashari Princess. So, 
You block it with satin. Yeah, I'll block it with I'm satin. not going to play any actions. Guess you're not either. So uh, I'm going to just take a card. Let's go with this one. Which is a long claw. Attached character gains plus one strength and renown. Nice little pull. Uh, and then I'll go in for a cheeky unopposed power. But I'll only gain one power. Yep. Because you have uh, no, no power on you. So then it is your turn, sir. Um, well, I guess I'm not doing a lot. You can uh, choose a card in any place this car park. Yes, you can do that as an action. So yeah, activate yeah, Lars Razor. do that. So go Please pull it back into my... Pull it back in... Oh, your deck. deck. Your deck. So put it in your deck and give it a shuffle. Dominance goes to me. Uh, oh, so dominance. Dom dominance action. action. Uh, return this messenger uh, to your hand and draw one card. Okay, cool beans. Um, I've left two. I've left two. <laughs> The joys of the joys of the Isle of Ravens, bro. Mm. Uh, so, uh, draw one card. Yeah. Um, right. That's your reaction. That uh, action. I have a few things. Yeah. So I win dominance, so I gain a power. Yep. Now, um, after you win dominance, discard one power from your faction card to choose two characters. Each of those gain one power. Yep. So I'll discard that one, and I'll put one on Melisandre yep. and one on the priestess. Yep. Um, and then, action, do I kneel? Yeah, I'll uh, kneel the, to move one power from a character or a location to its own inspection card. So Melisandre's yeah, power as well. can go on to that, so I'll kneel that. So that's my actions done. Um, reaction's also done. So yeah, that's it. So everything stands. And then, yeah, uh, plots, I guess. And with round one in the books, after round one, it is myself, Lee, with three power and Rich with zero power. So without further ado, let's get into round two and see those plots. I've gone for Late Summer Feast. Cool, I have gone for Exchange of Information. So, Late Summer Feast, what does that do, uh, sir? Uh, force reaction, after you win a challenge, losing a punt may draw one card. Cool beans. I've got an exchange of information. So when revealed, choose an opponent. Rich. Hello. And reveal the top ten cards of your deck. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you, Rich, get to choose one character, one location, one attachment and one event uh, this way, if able. And uh, you add them to my hand and then I shuffle the deck. But you don't show me the cards, you don't. Pick. So one location, one character. Yeah, and um, one attachment and one event. So one of each card, Basically. effectively. Not one okay, so they're all um, secret from me, so I can't tell. So which are the ones you picked for me, Rich? I picked Melisandre. Melisandre, yeah, makes sense. Um, Stormlands of Freedom. Freedom? 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 Yeah. Uh, and the Hand of Judgment. And the Hand of Judgment. Okay, so I shuffled them. That's and there thing. wasn't any uh, attachments. No attachments, okay, cool, cool. All right, so this phase, um, I have four, so I will um, go... I'll let you go first this time, Rich. Sure. Um, um, so ten I'll... gold for me. Yeah, so I have three, four because it's a summer plot, mm -hmm. uh, five because of the storm end, so... You must have someone big because you've got you went with late summer feast. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> oh gosh. For Bowen Marsh. Okay, Bowen Marsh, yeah. With a dupe. With a dupe, nice. So what does Bowen Marsh do, Rich? Um, during intrigue challenges, each steward character you control gains insight. That's a maze balls. Hmm. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. Thing. Yeah, it is. For for Ranging party. Ranging party. Okay, okay. Yeah. For one. Another. Another messenger. Messenger Raven. Okay. All right. All right. Marshalling. Got to figure out life. Well, the first things first. We'll do Melisandre because mm -hmm. she's only a defender thanks to Craven, which is kind of unfortunate. So we're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to bring in some uh, fiery followers. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I will then, thanks to Melisandre's trigger. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll kneel your ranging party. Sure. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Right. So for two, we play another Stormlands fiefdom. No. Yeah. It is. I've got a uni thing, so I can't do that. I have to pay for the cost. That's fine. Making sure I'm not missing anything. Um, and then for one more. We'll play another Dragon's uh, Stone Faithful. I've got all my followers out on the board, all mate. All the followers. All the followers on my board. Which is crazy. Uh, and then... I think that is it for me. So, uh, challenge phase. Do you have any actions to play first off? No. No? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, well I am going to spend one to Nightmares, uh, Bow and Marsh. Sure. And for another one, I will play uh, Scene in the Flames. Play only if you control a roller character. Challenge fate, yeah. Ch actions, challenge, uh, action, challenges, action even. Uh, choose an opponent and look at his or her hand, then choose one and discard from the hand. Yeah, get rid of yeah. Cotton Pike. Gives me some useful information of what Rich has got in hand. So, uh, Rich, your challenge face, sir, because you are first. Okie dokie. He goes up to five. Mm -hmm. Yep, so I'll kneel that. Yeah. Give him plus one strength. So okay. Five. So using Helder's ability, he's going to go to strength five. And then he will do a power challenge. Power? Of five. Yeah, I'll uh, block it with a Dragonstone Faithful mm -hmm. so it goes unopposed, but uh, I lose a power. You gain a power, sir. Sweet. I will then do a military. Mm hmm. Three. Okay. Reaction after you win a challenge in which Glendron is attacking, move one power from the losing opponent's faction card to another attacking start player. Okay. Uh, another not, bird, not, Knight's Watch, not, not, not Stark, sorry. Up to two power instead of um, I will, character is standing. I will let it go unopposed. Okay. Okay. So, so one, one for the win. One for well, unopposed. One for unopposed. Yeah. Then one for his. Yep, yeah, so I take that and put it on there. Yep. Yeah. And then I've got to kill someone, which will be this unfortunate, fateful geezer. No, no. See you, lads. Bye. Do an intrigue challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, after Saturn is now to choose and stand another steward character. Into Twas Perfect. Cool, cool. So, Waban. Steward. Yep, yeah. yeah, here's a steward. Intrigue of one. Intrigue of one. Well, Melisandre can only defend, so it only makes sense to Melisandre stop sat in right there at the door yep. and go, no. Oh, uh, and uh, odd one, two, two challenges? You can draw two oh, cards. I'll definitely draw two cards. One, two, okay. Right, okay. Unopposed military? Yep. So one for unopposed. And then you choose someone to bite the bullet. Take it away. <laughs> give it away, give it, give it away, away, give, give it, it away, away now. <laughs> Let's take away the messenger room. Okay. So I think I'm going to stop on the challenge phase there. Yeah, so. So, uh, right. Uh, reactions for dominance. After the dominance phase begins, which is just yeah, about to stand these people. Uh, I win the dominance by a stupid amount. Yep. So I gain a power. And then all the shenanigans. And then I will lose that power and put two, one on Melisandre and one on the Priestess. Yep. And then after that, I will tap both of my Stormlands Fiendoms to put these two power on that. Yep. 
Makes sense. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And then any discard pile. That is a discard pile. I will then use the Isles of Ravens for an action because we've still got an action yeah. step in the dominance. Let's put Scene and Flames back in my deck. I will do the same. And you may as well do the same. Well, well, with, well, with, with uh, what's your Isles of Ravens? Who did you put in? Cotton uh, Pot. Cotton Pot. Cotton Pot. Yeah. And that is the end of round two, ladies and gentlemen. And the scores on the doors are as follows. Baratheon with four power and Night's Watch with three power. So I'm currently winning by one. But let's see how it unfolds in round three. And let's see those plot cards. You know what? I'll do that. The fire that burns... Okay, I am doing trade routes. So, what's the fire that burns, Rich? Um, each Night Watch character you control does not kneel when declared as, def as a defender. Okay, that's pretty strong. Mm. I got trade routes. Uh, when revealed, choose an opponent. Rich, gain. Uh, oh, choose an opponent, which is Rich. Um, gain one for each location you control and each location your opponent controls. Oh, so, oh one, God. two, three, four. Yeah. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and it's a summer card, so 16 gold this turn. Yeah, that could be a thing. 16 gold. I get 5. <laughs> I'm just having a look. I don't think I even have enough gold. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, and I'll use this 1 to class as 16, and because I haven't had this well, much one gold... one blood coin. Well, it's one blood coin, but also the fact that I've never had this much gold in one game ever going to do as they do on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> that much. I have an uh, initiative of two. Six. Six. So I will you, let you go first. Let me go first. Okay, cool beans. So, first things first. Um, two Dragon Ports and a, uh, and a Dragonstone Faithful to bring out Maester Krayson. Yeah. Who's a really nice maester. Dude. So, a marshalling no. action. I can kneel him. To choose a condition attachment and discard it from play. Yeah, so can. I'm going to attach that and say goodbye to Craven. It's only in your discard though. Um, so that's that. Okay, and he was free because of all my blooming faithful people. So for five, one, two, three, four, five. We'll also play Littlefinger. Jesus, look how this is what it feels like to be like Baratheon. This yeah. is kind of nice. So Littlefinger. There's a reaction. Uh, after you marshal him, draw two cards. One, two, cool beans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play my boy, Bedrick. I'm just gonna nab one of your dice, Rich. Sure. Six. Bedrick, uh, Dundarian. Nice. I would say my first favourite character of Game of Thrones, other than Benji. Um, he basically has renown, he's a Lord Knight, he's a ruler character, so I would like to tap your ranging party. Um, he also has X tokens on him, so he has six lives, and obviously if he dies, you'd lose a token for that shenanigans. Because it's silly. Because it, no, he's not silly, he's great. Um, yeah, so that's the reaction because of the ruler character with Alessandra. We will then, for two, Play another Stormlands Fieldum. Because that seems to be working out really well for me. Mm. For one, I will Milk of the Poppy, Bowen Marsh. Well, that's just rude. It is really rude, isn't it? And then I'll end my turn there for you, sir. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Um, so, three. For Maester Eamon. So, you bring out your Maester this turn. I'm really sure. worried. Like my, I don't think my, the camera is picking up. My neighbourhood isn't safe, apparently. Your neighbourhood is. There's a few people screamed in the last hour or so. Okay. Um, so what does your mace to do again? Mace to so Aemon. no attachments. Interrupt. When a night watch character would be killed, kneel mace to aim on to save it. Yep. Yeah. Cool beans. One for dragonglass weapons. Nice. And so it gives him uh, his. Plus two strength. Plus dagger gives him plus two strength. Yeah. And immune to opponent's character abilities. Okay, cool, cool. cool, cool. Uh, Wall is participating in a challenge. Okay. So he's five. 
and immune to people's shenanigans when he's in a challenge. And another one. Yep. For more dragon glass. Oof. Putting all the dragon glass out. Put that on. I'll put it on that dude. Okay. So he's six. So he's now six. Six steward. Yeah. Blank text. Okay. And then I may as well. I will kneel that and gain two gold. Cool, cool. No, one gold. Because your thing's only two, isn't it? Yes, it's only two. It get me a shed load more, yeah. but it's only two. Yeah, so that's me. Okay. We'll kick things off in the challenge phase. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, we'll go with fiery followers. Uh, cheeky little military of two. Okay, I'll just defend him. Cool. Uh, and I do not deal. You do not deal. Declared as defender. That's cool. I am good. I'm going to do no more, I believe. So it's all on you, You're bro. You're good, are you? I think so. Yeah. You good, bro? I'm you good. good. I am good, bro. Military. Mm -hmm. Three. Military of five. Oh, five. It'd be five. Um, I will block it with Beric, who's military six. Okay. I will. So no actions. Yes. So action. Yep. Kneel the location. Mm -hmm. Plus one strength. Probably. So that now goes to six. Yep. And it's true. And then uh, I will. So you have six, I have six. We will then do for one gold. Mm -hmm. We'll play in the name of your king. Yep. Play only during a military challenge in which you are the defending player. Action. Uh, nail your faction card, which I will do now. Yep. Cha ching. Cha ching. Cha ching. Uh, with no winner or loser until the end of the phase, you cannot initiate military challenges. Yep. So it keeps. People alive, effectively. Yeah, that's fair. That's Can't discard. Argue. There you go. Cannot argue with it. Yeah. Power. Yep. Of six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Nine. Yep. Um, and then a nice intrigue of three. Ooh, three, eh? And then he's now standing back up. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, With all of his ceilings on. So I'll make sure it goes unopposed, not unopposed. So Darius yeah. Priestess is there, so you don't gain a power for it not being there. But I'll uh, let you pick a card. Pick a winner. What did you pick? Hand of Judgment. Oh, Hands of Judgment. I'm, I'm happy enough with that. I still never get to play that, but there is a way of bringing it back, which is quite fun. So, um, phase done? I believe so. So, dominance so triggers, so reaction six. there. Yep. So, two, ten. Oh, I've got six. Okay, so I win one for dominance. You should do it. Uh, I'll then discard one and put yep. another one out on the board on uh, on the priestess mm -hmm. and then I'll tap all three of my storm yep. landings to move uh, all that whoop, power whoop, whoop. all onto there which is six yep and then yeah I think that's honestly it action I will use the Isles of Ravens I think you're going to do it as well I will use the Isles of Ravens I'm going to put um, nightmares back into my deck I'm going to put the only card that I've got which is uh, Craven yeah, Craven so we're putting them in and no, shuffling wait, no wait 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 it's terminal, isn't it? So that dies with the character. No, it didn't. It um, it was because oh, you, it was a condition. Removed I removed it. Removed it. Yeah, that's fine. That's right. And then it comes to plots. And that is round three in the books, ladies and gentlemen. And the scores on the doors is that Baratheon have six power and the Night's Watch have three power. I've currently doubled Rich's power total at the moment, but let's see how it unfolds in round four, shall we? And let's see those plot cards. Val Valor Morgulis? Oh no! Oh no! 
and I'd do an yeah. exchange of information. Oh, that sucks so much! Just to value on me right off the bat. Yeah. I so kind of figured that mine triggers that first because I have four. Yeah. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've done an exchange of information again. So I get to pick a character and yeah, get one character, one location, each. attachment, and event. Uh, riches is just rough because it's kill each character unless they're duped. Mm. So a lot of my shit has just died. Don't do that. Okay, which are the ones? These are the ones you they're, take they're the one, no, um, Yeah, they're for your hand. Okay, so they're my hand is hand. Seen in Flames, um, the, Light of Lord, oh, he's going to get shuffles. Yeah. Uh, attachment, which is Light of the Lord, which is a Rulic thing. Uh, the Chamber, and then, oh, you douchebag, Littlefinger. Because <laughs> yeah. little, that is a dead <laughs> card. Can, because he's gone down. Because he's gone down. So down. that's my exchange of information done. Wow. Okay, so um, board wipe almost, mm. pre pretty much. So pretty much. Um, Bedrick goes to five. Littlefinger dies. Mr. Grayson dies. Fiery Fathers dies. Dragonstone dies. Dragonstone dies. Priestess dies. Melisandre Duke dies. Wow. So, wow. Um, when a character would be killed. Yep. Kneel to save it. Yep. But obviously, I assume he's going to die at the same time. Mm, so true. Would, I assumed that the interaction would mean they're just dead. Yeah. And I can't save anybody. It has an interrupt, so he probably could before he dies. I'd assume he would be able I to. I have no idea. Because interrupt would interrupt the thing, I would assume. So? He interrupts to save someone, and then you continue with the killing. I'm assuming that's how that interaction... I'm assuming how that interaction works, so who would you want to save? Well, I'd probably say, but I'd be character on the show. Yeah, it'd be Gren. Yeah, I would um, play it as that. Just let us know in the comments below what you're... If we did that yeah, right, because I'm pretty positive the interrupt would it, interrupt it, it the would effect. Just, it would just be the timing because yeah. if, if obviously he's the one that's going to die, yeah, yeah, could, so it's just could, killing could, each could he character. technically interrupt and save himself? He probably could. Yeah, I would say the interrupt works like that. That's how I would play it. Wow, what a board wipe, Rich. Mm. Uh, right, I've only, got, I've only got one card in my hand though, which is an issue. It is an issue. Um, I've got an initiative of four. Uh, zero. Uh, and also claim of zero. And claim of zero. I will uh, definitely go first then. So draw two. One, two. Two. For the chamber of the painted table. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. <sighs> so yeah, so we'll kneel two um, dragon's paw and then one gold to play the Red Keep, another location. The Red Keep contributes two strength to your side during a, any power challenge in which you control a participating character. Interrupt when the challenge phase ends. If you if you have not lost a power challenge this round, kneel Red Keep and draw two cards. Mm -hmm. I am good, sir. So it is your turn. Okay. It's not a lot of things on the board now. I had a very big board until until <laughs> done. One. Yep. Four Craven. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 And um, done. Done. <laughs> <laughs> done. Kick of the yeah. dick. In fact, am I done? Yeah, I'm done. Challenge phase begins. Have you got any actions? Nope. You're gonna spend one. Scene in the flames. Let's look at your hand, Rich. Yeah, okay. Um, Amon can go to your Oh, I would say he's already dead, so it's oh, a dead card. Oh, it is a dead card, so yeah, it would be the other one then. I forget that Amon's alive. So what did I discard? It was the horse lineage, um, ain't it? Or no noble, 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 noble lineage. lineage. Yeah. Yeah, that card. So that's discarded. Power challenge. Or... He's a six, I think, so... Power challenge, yeah. Then I will defend. Okay. With six. Yep. Cool beans. Uh, your turn, sir, because Bedrick can only defend. Mm -hmm. Power challenge. Okay. With three. Uh, I will uh, let it go on a post. 
Yeah. Well, there's no claim, so I assume one just get one for winning. Yeah, for underposed. Yeah. yeah. One for underposed. And that's and then military. Military, and I'll block it for that. Yeah. So he's got renown, so he gains a power for that. Sure. Okay. Um, then it comes to dominance. Yours. Not a lot of triggers, as much as they were last yeah. time. So yeah, it's bad. So Dominus goes to me for one. Yep. So then I'll discard that one to gain two to then put it on there. And then discard the and then tap the three um Stormlands fiefdoms to move the three power you go, whoop, whoop. onto there. And then after you win dominance, kneel the chamber of the painting table to move one power from your opponent's faction card to your own. So I'll tap that, so I gain one and you lose one. Sure. Uh, did not that doesn't trigger because um, I didn't lose any power things. Yeah, that's it. And then I'll. Do you want to kneel your <laughs> ravens like mine for your action? May as well. May as well. Uh, and I'll put. Um, I think I'll put hand of judgment. It seems pretty daft, but you know, keep on going. Well, if you get a decent card back every turn, it's worth it. Like yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure. The payoff's all right. Round four is in the books, and the scores of the doors are as follows. Ten power to Baratheon, and still three power to the Night's Watch. I've taken a bit of a commanding lead now, but let's see how this game pans out, shall we? And let's see round five and those plot cards. Yep, yeah, I've got mine. Confiscation. Nice. When revealed, choose an attachment and discard it from play. Cool. I have close call, which is move uh, a, a character from your dead pile to your discard pile. There are no winner cards in play, so I get to draw a card. So I'll trigger that by drawing a card. I will lose move of the pocket. Goes to well, my discard, pocket. doesn't it? Uh, no. I guess so. Uh, discard from play, yeah. So discard. And then I get to put a dead character yep. back into my discard, which I will put... Little finger in my yeah, discard. I was going to say hello, little finger. So five, six, seven, eight. It is a summer plot, so it'll be nine. Okay. And I'll get five. Three, six, nine. Um, five against my zero. I will go first. Okay. Uh, draw two cards. Draw two. Right. So first of all, I will tap that. Yep. And gain now five or higher. Cards five and a half, so I'll gain two gold. There you go, gain two gold. So that's the underground vault, yeah. isn't it? Two for the Iron Throne. Hello, hello, hello. At last. And then four mm -hmm. for another ranging party. Ranging party. So you've got ranging party and also the, uh, the throne come out. Okay. And done. And that is you done. First things first, we'll do five for Littlefinger mm -hmm. to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so we'll do the stone port for minus two, and then for two, we'll play uh, Gendry. Mr. the Gendry. Mr. Gendry. The man, the myth, the frickin' legend, homeboy himself. Uh, we'll then. I believe it is your turn now, sir, then. Okay. Um, because you decided to go first. I did indeed. So I will. Military. Mm -hmm. Five. Okay. I'll let it go unopposed. Have you got any actions? Nope. I will kneel my faction cards. Yep. Spend one. Yep. In the name of your king. Sure. To make sure no one dies. Makes sense. Cool. That goes to my discount plan. I will then do an intrigue mm -hmm. of six. Intrigue of six. Sure. Uh, unopposed. Sure. So then this thing happens. Yes, it does. I so forgot about that. After you win an intrigue challenge by five or more strength, yep. kneel your faction card and reveal a scheme plot. If that card leaves play, remove it from the game. Yeah, so you pick a scheme from underneath that triggers. And it triggers. And it triggers, so read the text carefully. Yeah. 
Um, okay, you know what? I may as well play the Red Wedding. <sighs> Shit! That's a pretty good one. So, what's uh, the Red Wedding so, do? Uh, when you win a challenge as the attacking player, choose and kill a Lord or Lady character. Do you have a Lord or Lady? I do. Yes, you do. Lord, that's, that's what Lady, I yeah. Lord. Yeah. Um, character controlled by the losing opponent. Any player may initiate this ability. So you choose to kill him? I, I assume so. That's what it says, doesn't yeah. it? So, I think it's whenever I win. Yeah. So, I may as well... But... Melisandre, yeah, it makes sense. She can, she can can it. She is now dead. And then, inside? Yes, inside, draw a card. I will stand. Okay. If I do nothing, one power, one power, two, two, win? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll, um, I'll do nothing. I think I might win, so I'm going to do nothing. Fair. So triggers, I'm just going to see the triggers. So dominance, so I have eight, four, which is 12, um, a shitload. You, I think, I yeah, think you, I only win by win. one, so nine. Nine and four is 13, add the four is 17. No, you should win by about six, I think. 20, yeah, I'm over 20. Yeah. And you're what, eight, nine, 10, 11. 16, okay, so I win dominance, so I gain a power. Yeah. I win, win dominance, so I gain a power there. Because of uh, yeah, uh, Gendry. Um, I will then trigger, after you win dominance, kneel this to move one power from yours to mine. Mm -hmm. There. And then um, discard one power to then put two power two and win. on someone. No, I'm going to oh, no, be out no. one, I'm going to be down by yeah. one. And then tap two to react to go to that. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I should have done another challenge if I could have. But yeah, I could have done if I did insight, I could have won. Yeah. Yeah, I should have done an insight challenge. But then I you won. wouldn't have won dominance. dominance. I wouldn't have won dominance. Round five is in the books, and it looks like it's almost curtains for the Night's Watch, with Baratheon currently on 14 and Rich on five. Now, the power is going to be a little bit out of sync in this video going forth because unfortunately, Rich missed a few. Uh, of his interactions with cards and uh, collecting power for unopposed challenges, etc. But it won't affect the game going forth, I don't think. So without further ado, let's get straight into round six and see those plot cards. Okay. Okay. Supporting the faith. Whew. I'm going to go with Grand Melee. So what is supporting the faith, Rich? After the challenge phase begins, each player returns all gold to his or her gold pool. Wow. To the tre oh, um, returns all the gold in his or her gold pool to the treasury. So good. Okay. Um, so each character that is attacking or defending alone does not contribute its strength to a challenge. Attacking alone? Attacking alone. Okay. Uh, so four, five, six, seven, eight. Mine is a five. What's yours? Two. Uh, I will go first. Okay. Three. I have, well, I have one turn to try and claw this back. <laughs> Two turns. Two turns. Two turns. This turn and the next turn. Yeah, I could have won. No, I wouldn't have won last turn. I don't know. We'll have to. I'll have to do the check, but. Yeah. Yeah, right. Um, and then Dragonport. Next card, yeah. Two for Dragonport to put um, Lord of Light on um, Darien. So, um, reaction. Uh, after the dominance phase begins, stand attached character and gain one gold. But the funniest thing about him is he is a ruling character. Right. Two gold mm -hmm. to attach Lord of the Light also to Lem Lemko, because he's also yeah. a ruling character. Because it's a thing. There we go. Your turn. Okay, so, so I will um, obviously unneal that. I will then kneel the underground vault, gain a gold. Yep. For seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Mr. Jon Snow. Ha <laughs> ha! Johnny boy, Johnny boy is on the field. That's the um. Last. Right. So what John's that? And um, what does he I do? I believe this. This is the Nightwatch one. Mm-hmm. So, stealth, reaction, after you win a challenge in which Jon Snow is participating, either stand each attacking wildling character or stand each defending um, Nightwatch character. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 
Um, and then I guess one for Daughter of War. Yep. So we're in the challenge phase, before challenge phase, yeah, um, no, this is the challenge phase, isn't this it? This is challenge phase, yeah. Challenge phase, so we lose all our gold. Lose all gold. All gold is gone. Goodbye. That makes a lot of sense. Power. Yep. So if I do power of three. Yeah. Okay. Just power. power of three. Power of three. Tap and go to four. Okay. Um, red keep contributes two strength to oh, your side. Bad. And I'll bedrick it. So he's seven. Seven, yeah. And then okay. renown and win. Sound. Sound. And with that being said, guys, that is Baratheon taking the win here over the Night's Watch. Unfortunately, I mi did miss the trigger. Uh, for another character to tap to stop that challenge. But talking to Rich about it, we both look back on it and we had so many power icons on the board, I could have easily stopped that challenge and still won the game. Unfortunately, Rich's deck couldn't get going, so unfortunately it was a bit of a crushing defeat by the Baratheon. So, without further ado, guys, thank you very much for watching and always appreciated if you leave a like on this episode. Uh, a like always helps us out and shows us that you enjoy the content that we do here and also it helps us get this video out there so more people can see what we're trying to do with Game of Thrones, which is trying to bring you guys high quality content for this fantastic card game. Also on the screen right now is the episode if it is live. If it isn't, guess what? You're just gonna have to wait for it. And there's also a subscribe button if you wanna sub to our channel. And also there is the playlist of our other battle reports that we've done. And obviously we're, this is game number seven. We made a few mistakes in other episodes, but you guys have been gracious with us and helped us. And we have come quite a long ways with our battle reports here on Bleep Top Productions. So without further ado, guys, take care, have a good one, and see you in the not too distant future for more Game of Thrones content.